So here today we will discuss about the planning for information system. As we know that uh, information system is a very much vital tool for the organizations who want to either build the manual or the traditional information system, both has the equal importance. For example, one organization is uh, adopting a manual information system. I may say that in the banking sector, if the manual information system is available, how they process the checks, how they uh, convert into the cash, or how they collect the cash and how they maintain their ledgers, it's quite difficult. So information systems are being state of art requirement in order to maintain the digital information nowadays if i say that most of the organizations in the world are converting to the digital systems that's why we are uh, seeing that lots of people here in the world are well known that in our country, the Nadra has been gone to the e Nadra, and then the banking has gone to the e banking. Then the all the systems are going to be e now e police. So the word e has been accommodated because e stands for the digital system, electronic system. So information systems are being now converted into the digital systems but as per my view now we have to look forward to the intelligent systems rather than depending upon the e systems because intelligent systems will give us more informative way in a systematic manner now this journey is quite far away from this stage as we are the beginning learners, but at this stage, we should know what are the intelligent systems and what are the digital systems. So I would like to give you the brief introduction in that regard, that information systems can be converted into the digital systems and based upon that data modeling, when we provide the data in us to the data scientist, he will give us the business logic from that particular type of the data where house can be built and from that data can be extracted and in this way uh, lots of journey can be tackled so the data will give us some sort of the process so some of them people ask it uh, is a process mining some of the uh, opinion mining some of them ask that uh, they have are trying to find out the patterns in order to understand. So all these are the decision support systems which may help us if they are digitized in order to get the most effective organization in the region. So if we have started a business, then we may think about the information system. The objective was of today's lecture or describe the origin of IT applications in the business and understand why they have become so prominent. As I have told to you that they have the importance because the manual system could not give us the effectiveness uh, as the digital system gives us. Then identify the distinguishing characters of the IT applications. Now, this is the main thing that what are the characteristics of uh, IT applications and uh, how can we make the different things? Because I, I have given you the idea that uh, now e-banking is no more. Now, intelligent banking is required. So explain the benefits of IT applications to users and enterprise. All the those organizations who have the enterprise models so, so we have to focus upon the IT application benefits as we know that uh, information can easily be handled through the computers. So therefore, IT infrastructure will boost up the environment and we can continue the 
uh, lots of information as well. So explaining how the system project begins and how it desirely it is determined. So this will be the second part of our lecture. And in the first part of the lecture, we will see it focus upon this, these things. So describe the six phases uh, of the system development life cycle. What is the life system development life cycle? We will see in the, that particular type of the session as well. So explain the importance of the continual evaluation uh, and evaluation in IT systems. Because until unless we haven't the access that uh, we are not going to evaluate our systems, we will not be unable to boost up our organizations. It is very much vital tool that we evaluate, test the current patterns of our organization and requirement. And we should build a scope of the information system that it could be enhanced in order to understand that what could be the maintenance way, how can we uh, generate the additional features how can we add the characteristics? So these scopes may be quite helpful for us. So in this way, this lecture, first of all, we are going to understand the what is an OIT application. Single user system and personal system, a system that uh, is used by the single organization means having the single computer desktop application. An IT system used by only one person means a business application has been installed in a one computer to be accessed to the one person at a time. Multiple persons may access it, but this is the single resource that is to be used. So a system that is stands alone and is not interconnected with other companies or shared to other peoples. So we can say that the single user system is that which is mostly standalone and it uh, is disconnected from the internet and its access is not, cannot be provided on the uh, other locations. But however, the shared resources, it cannot be used as a shared resources as well. So. If we say that the enterprise system has the different characteristics and it is the shared one, so we can say it usually involves the same type of concepts as the personal system plus the server mainframe database and network, it is generally a shared system. So we can say that it has the different characteristics from the uh, single user system or the personal system. It is enterprise system, therefore it is shared with among the several number of users. So we can say that the, it has the shared um, database which can be seen all, all over. So in the banking sector, we can see this application that several banks can connect their data very easily and they can share these resources as well. So not only the data, but they can share the resources as well. Uh, for example, the transaction has been done in a one uh, bank and then it can also be cached from the sec another bank. So these are the interconnection system, interconnected and shared systems, and they have the lots of collaboration. So banking enterprising system is one of the uh, prominent here example that we can see. So design for hands-on characteristics of the personal system. That is only uh, we can say a system in which uh, a user enters data and information direct processing determines type of the output being generated. So we can say that the hands-on system is that one which is the personal system and uh, it uh, its information and data can be entered in a single computer having the same sort of the outputs as per desired 
uh, sketches in mind. But if we want to improve the our performance, then we have to tailor the personal requirements as well, and the preferences has to be changed. Therefore, the evaluation of our organization is to be done. And through this evaluation, we can see that what is the requirement and how can we tackle it. So the main thing is that in the enterprise system, as we saw that due to this tailored personal requirement and the preferences, we follow the enterprise systems. So the characteristics uh, of the uh, IT applications, which are enterprise, are the scalable, designed for shared use. Several number of users may connect it and may use it. So designed for the sharing data and resources, as I have given you the example of the banking sector. And then the design to connect a variety of users. So lots of users, either they are cashiers, either they are managers, either they are the retailers, either they are the customers, whoever, the variety of users may connect according to their all uh, the So designed for the large size and uh, having the large scope as well. Because a scope is the main thing that we have to keep concentration upon the scope. Otherwise, we will not be able to give the proper attention to and we cannot be build a pr proper some sort of the enterprise system as well. So here in this table, this summary has been summarized at hands on for use it in the personal system. Yes, in the enterprise system is also available. We used to improve performance. Yes, the both is available, tailored performance, both available. Then design for shared use in the personal system not available. This is the characteristic of enterprise system desired for sharing data resources is also and then desired connect variety of users designed for the size and scope these are the four characteristics which are uniquely related to the enterprise systems and three characteristics here on the top can be found in the personal data system and as well as in the enterprise system so it applications impact is character effectiveness to extend in which the desirable results are achieved and increased creativity and innovation as well so this is a main characteristic that we have to see that there must be the effectiveness of the particular it application either it is enterprise or a personal application but it should have the proper tangent there otherwise uh, the impact could not be seen so people's the customers trust should be there if the trust is not there in the application we won't be able to launch that particular type of the application in a systematic manner so here we have to see and we have to look down upon the development of the and the origin of the system uh, performance as well. So the origin of the enterprise system, the process of examining a business situation, designing a system solution to improve the situation and acquiring the human financial information, technology resources needed to develop the implementation solution. So this is the main thing that we have to think about these uh, enterprises that what is the origin of that particular thing, the process of examining the situation if we have the situation and accordingly we have to design some sort of the uh, IT applications that could efficiently and effectively serve the organization and the financial information and technological resources could be uh, integrated in order to make the enterprise system more effective. So project management is uh, one of the um, greatest thing we will discuss in the uh, coming lecture. 
so the process uh, here i will give you the only just of the sake of information that the process of planning organizing integrating and overseeing the development of IT application to the ensure that the project objective are achieved and the system is implemented according to the expectations. So mainly the project management has uh, uh, the capability to play the key role because the whole of the situation is there and in that where the activity is to be begin either the we are going to examine a business situation and if we are trying to find that there is a opportunity to build the enterprise system and that enterprise system should have the digital capability either the intelligent capability so these things must be added in order to understand that they have the effectiveness so the proper planning and integrating is highly required and overseeing development IT application is highly recommended because according to the situation and expectation that we have to build. So project proposal is the main first step we will discuss in the next lecture. So thank you very much for your active listening and keep watching. Hopefully you will find more information in that regard. So we